I didn't have time to really make a blog about this subject, but a lot of people want me to weigh in about the eclipse, right? It's coming up on April 8th. So what I'm going to do is just briefly talk about it without, you know, going into a whole lot. There's been a lot more people who've weighed in on this eclipse, a lot more people. And I'm probably not going to be saying too much that's different than what others are saying about it. But a lot of people are asking me about it. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh in on it. Um, let me see if I can find it on my Facebook page because I really just haven't had time to make a blog about it. Um, I wanted to, but ran out of time. Okay. Um, see if I can find it here. Yeah, here it is. I wrote this on February 9th. And let's see. Can I make this larger? Is there any way to make this larger? Honey? Okay. All right, so this is what I said. I said, America is definitely getting a wake-up call. Our Messiah warned us that in the very last days, just before his return, it would be just like in the days of Noah. Matthew 17, 26. Biblical, biblical scholars speculate that an eclipse took place when Jonah arrived to Nineveh to warn the people to repent. In Exodus 4, 8, notice that the date of April 8th is 4, 8. So I find that interesting. If they do not believe the first sign, you know, the first sign was the eclipse of August 21st, 2017. They will believe the second sign, which is April 8th, 2024. This April 8th, 2024 eclipse goes directly through six cities with the name Nineveh. And I know that there's another well-known Torah teacher who did a YouTube video on this, and I listened to a part of it. I didn't listen to the whole thing. He claims he did his, you know, fact-checking, and he says that it's not true that there are six cities with the name Nineveh. But that's not true. I did my own fact-checking, and he's wrong, okay? There are actually six cities, and I will show you the coordinates, okay, because I have it on my computer here. Um, here it is. Um Mm-hmm. Yep. So the guy that's saying there's only two cities with the name Nineveh, um, he's wrong. Okay. In fact, it's Nineveh, Texas, which is in Leon County. Here's the latitude and the longitude and the eclipse intensity. Uh, Nineveh, Missouri, which is 89.60%. There's Nineveh, Indiana, Johnson County. Oh, and Nineveh, Missouri is in Adair County. Nineveh, Ohio, Dark County. Isn't that funny? Dark. Because the darkest point of the eclipse is supposed to be here in Ohio. Okay. Nineveh, Pennsylvania, Green County. Nineveh, another Nineveh, Pennsylvania in Clarion County. So there's two Ninevehs in Pennsylvania. Uh, Nineveh, Virginia, Warren County, uh, Nineveh, New York, Broome County, Nineveh, uh, Nova Scotia, Canada, uh, Nineveh, Nova Scotia, Canada. So in other words, there's two of them. One of them is Lunenburg County and Victoria County. Then there's Nineveh, Kentucky. So yeah, and I actually got this uh, these coordinates from the uh, Chamber of Commerce website in Texas which is Jonah, Texas. So the guy that's claiming, the Torah teacher that's claiming it's not true. So can I ask a question? Uh -huh. those, those cities, are those cities all, because you gave a larger list, are those cities all in the path of the eclipse or do they just exist? They're in the path. Okay, I just wanted to clarify yeah, that. Yeah, they're in the path, yeah. Because the map you showed looked like they were like sprinkled around. Yeah, let me see. Um, yeah, so let's see here. The one would have to sort of do an overlay of the Aleph and the Ta. Well, yeah, I think it's because there's been two different eclipses and, uh, it says there, oh, there are seven places named Nineveh in America and it says Indiana, Missouri, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Virginia. So there was two different eclipses. Um, over the course of the two, the seven years, and both 
you know, both eclipses, um, let's see if I can find that other graphic I made. Here it is. Um, so it looks like that all the Nineveh's, let's see, Nineveh starts with Jonah, Texas. There's the Nineveh in Texas, one. There's the Nineveh in Illinois, that's two. There's the Nineveh, uh, yeah, here it is. There's the, there's Jonah, Texas. There's Nineveh, Texas. It's funny because the, because the, um, the, the, where the two, two different, um, eclipses intersect is in rapture, Indiana. Now I'm not saying there's going to be a rapture in, I don't believe that there's going to be obviously the catching away of the bride of Messiah has to happen on the Feast of Trumpets. It's not going to happen on April 8th. Well, and rapture is another way of saying ecstasy, too. So that could be their name, their sound, their town, like, like you'll love this town. We're uh, this wonderful town. Rapture in Neanda. Well, actually, Joyful. I know. mean, yeah, the, the the actual definition is to seize, to snatch, to catch away, I understand. to I'm, carry away. You know, but it was I mean, named in modern times. So I'm sure. saying they probably chose that name for that reason. Right. But, but I mean, it's when given all the other things that go along with it, it's very interesting that it, it yeah. marks an X right there. Okay. Sure. So I just wanted to point out that from your list on the side, Jonah, Texas, to the to the bottom of the list, Nova Scotia, right? So you're obviously from the top, Texas, and then you go to the bottom left of the map. So each dot is representing one of those Nineveh. in sequential order. Yeah. So you got the one in Texas, you got another Nineveh here, two, three, four, five five and six. So there's six Ninevehs uh, represented on this map. Okay. So even though I think that list gave us seven of them, but anyway, um, it's not just America. This list is also showing the ones in Canada and Nova Scotia. So maybe the guy, you know, the tour teacher that's saying, you know, there's only two. I don't know what, what he means. Maybe he's, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I don't know who he, who he fact-checked. Maybe he used Snopes, in which case you can't trust Snopes, okay? So here's what I posted on Facebook. I said, and as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of... I can't of see that. You need to shrink it to make it a little bit smaller. Why? What's the problem? Because the... There you go. Um, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of the Son of Man, Luke 17, 26. Uh, also, Matthew 12, 39 says, An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. That's Matthew 12, 39. Yet 40 days and Nineveh will be thrown down. That's Jonah 3, 4. So uh, Jonah went to preach in Nineveh because Yahuwah commanded him to do so. And within 40 days, he gave them a warning. Within 40 days, if you don't repent... Nineveh will be Nineveh will be overthrown. Okay, will America repent? We need to fast and pray that America repents. So the total solar eclipse will be taking place on April 8th of this year. It will pass through Jonah, Texas, which is inter interesting, and through several towns and cities bearing the name of Nineveh, also passing through Rapture, Indiana. All this takes place under the constellation of Cetus, which is called the Whale. Also included in the path of the eclipse is the Ark in Williamston, Kentucky. Okay. 40 days after the eclipse will be May 18th. Now, this is the eve of Pentecost, but not the Pentecost we're keeping on the Christian in the Christian church. They're keeping Easter, um, you know, a whole month earlier than we're keeping Pesach. So the, so we're going to be keeping Pentecost in June, okay? But they're going to be keeping it in, on May 18th. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of stuff going on with this. With this um, so let me go back to the, the, the pay, Facebook post. So the first solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017, passed through seven cities called Salem, which is an ancient name for Jerusalem, and it means shalom, peace. We have experienced relatively seven peaceful years compared to what is about to come. However, America is about to receive a warning of judgment. 
Do you remember the story of Jonah being sent to Nineveh to preach repentance? He was instructed to tell them that they had 40 days to repent or their city and nation would be destroyed. And guess what? They did repent. Also, the name Nineveh means the place of the fish and also the seat of government. Okay. Now, I find that interesting because on April 8th, we're still going to be in the month of the fish. So we're not going to be ready to keep Pesach yet. So there is another witness that we have to wait for Aries the ram before we can keep Passover. This next solar eclipse of April 8th, 2024, will be crossing over six cities named Nineveh. Yahuwah is showing us that America is the end time beast government. Uh, he is showing us that America is going to be just like that ancient empire of Nimrod. And the last president will be also a type and shadow of Nimrod. He will be a builder, you know, a builder of the temple, just like Nimrod was a builder of the Tower of Babel. I'm not saying the temple is to be equated with the, the Tower of Babel. Okay, but he's still a builder. He's a mighty hunter and he will hunt those down who will oppose him. And there are two interlocking pathways of totality forming an X in a town called Cairo, Illinois, which is the capital city of Egypt, Cairo, Egypt. It's right along the Mississippi River, just like the Nile River in Egypt. In fact, the Freemasons call America spiritual Egypt. Revelation 11, 8 says that that city where our master was crucified, Jerusalem, will be spiritually like Sodom and Egypt. I don't know why I said Sodom and Sodom. Sodom that's, that was a misprint. I have to fix that. <laughs> the Mississippi River divides the landmass 70% on the Western Hemisphere and 30% on the Eastern Hemisphere, which is just like the Nile River does in Egypt. It is also interesting that the 2024 eclipse is passing through a city called Rapture, but I would caution against those who would make the claim that the Harpazo, the catching away of the bride of Messiah, will take place on this next solar eclipse of April 8th, 2024. We cannot base our eschatology on things that are not found in Scripture. I can remember all the Christians claiming the Rapture would arrive on September 23rd, 2017. I strongly warned people in this blog that there would not be a rapture in 2017 because there were still and still are many more things in scripture that have not taken place yet. So I have this other blog, the constellation of revelation 12 on September 23rd, 2017. What does it mean? Uh, yes, there will be a post-tribulation harpazo for the bride of Messiah, which also includes the resurrected two witnesses, but only after they have completed their evangelistic outreach to the world for 1,260 days of great tribulation. See this blog, The Elopement, on the day that no man knows. So I have another blog that explains the post-trib rapture or harpazo our messiah gave us a sign of when the great tribulation shall begin and it has nothing whatsoever to do with a great american eclipse here is what he gave us as a harbinger of the great tribulation matthew 24 15 through 21 when you therefore therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be I believe that the image of the beast is going to be um, AI and so the abomination of desolation is the same thing as the image of the beast we read about in Revelation 13, 14 through 15. I believe it will be seen in the third temple in Jerusalem. Uh, it will probably be a giant image of some kind, possibly an alleged clone of Jesus from the fake Shroud of Turin that the Catholic Church has been talking about for, you know, decades um, it will probably be powered by artificial intelligence. And so I have a blog about that. 
Uh, the Vatican has been planning this ever since I found a website in the year 2000 called Christians for Cloning, the Cloning of Jesus, where they claim to have extracted the DNA from the burial cloth of our Messiah and supposedly cloned Jesus on December 25th, 2000. The website claimed that they had planted the embryo into the womb of a virgin woman and that the clone of Jesus will be 30 years old by December 25th, 2030. I don't know that we'll make it till, till that date or not. I don't think so, but you never know. These two eclipses from 2017 to 2024 are separated by six years, six months, six weeks, and six days. The fact that Yahuwah has shown us the sign of the Aleph and the Ta, the first and the last, the beginning and the ending over America with these two eclipses is a hint that he's making his own people or marking his own people with his seal. But the rest will be marked by 666. We must fast and pray between now and Shabuot, Feast of Weeks or Pentecost, 2024, that Yahuwah will pour out his Ruach, his spirit upon our nation and wake people up to the deceptions that are coming upon the earth. And I have another blog. These are the beginning of birth pains, okay, where I uh, go into a lot more detail about the fact that we're not in the Great Tribulation yet. I personally believe the red heifers will be slaughtered this year for Passover, and this will lead up to the building of the third temple in Jerusalem. Uh, it is also highly possible that we could see the abomination of desolation by Passover of 2025, which would then kick off the ministry of the two witnesses and the great tribulation. So I posted that on Facebook, and I have a lot of people talking about it um, and also I think there's another uh, illustration that I have about the Aleph Tav. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, eclipses. Um, I think it's in my folder on eclipses because I've got a specific folder on eclipses. Here we go. Um, this is one that I made last year. Okay. And you can see that, um, that there were three eclipses um across america that formed the uh, looks like an aleph okay the ancient aleph looks like the head of an ox and the ancient ta looks like a cross but in the middle period of paleo it looks like this so you've got um these three eclipses forming this and then this these two eclipses forming the X or the tall. So Aleph and tall, right? So there was an eclipse on August 21st, 2017. There was another one in June, June 10th, 2021. There was an annular, okay, an annular eclipse is different than a total lunar eclipse, but there was an annular eclipse, June 10th, 2021, another annular eclipse, on October 14th, 2023, and then coming up April 8th, total lunar eclipse, okay? So I believe what Yahuwah is doing, he's sealing his corporate two witnesses in the earth. And that's what I believe he's doing. He's, you know, America is the, the nation that leads in evangelistic outreaches and sending missionaries to foreign countries. So even though... America is filled with corruption. There's just as many people in this country who are followers of Yahushua HaMashiach. And we need to repent as a nation. And uh, so I believe Yahuwah is uh, allowing us to experience this because America needs to repent. In 1981, a 1,700-mile crack across America was discovered using modern-day gravity mapping satellite data. It is referred to as the Montana to Florida lineament, lineament or the Missouri Gate Gravity Low. This crack, seen in blue, intersects the new Madrid fault line, which is represented in black. What's interesting is that these fault lines and the path of the Great American Eclipse takes place 
on August 21st, 2017, and again on April 8th, 2024, are identical. So in other words, the fault line that goes this way and the other fault line that goes this way right there forms the X, the second large crack through America. The New Madrid seismic fault line. There was an earthquake in 1811. There was another one in 1812. Okay. Or actually two of them in earthquake, uh, 1812, one in January, one in February. Both cracks intersect at the New Madrid seismic zone. This is scary because, you know, it's possible that since America is wanting to divide Israel with a two-state solution, that our own country could end up being divided. So I've been worried about this and been praying about it. Okay, there's a lot of people talking about what could possibly happen with this great American eclipse coming up. The one from 2017, this was the one from 2017. It went through seven Salem, Salem, Oregon, Salem, Idaho, Salem, Wyoming, Salem, um, uh, no, no, not Nen is Nebraska. Salem, Missouri, Salem, Kentucky, Salem, South Carolina. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot of prophetic things happening right now. And we need to be, you know, praying and fasting and preparing our hearts and being ready for what is coming. I don't think we're teaching next week. No. I'm going to be flying to Pennsylvania. Not Pennsylvania. I'm at Virginia to see my new granddaughter that was just born yesterday, Abigail Grace. After, what, almost 24 hours of labor? Oh, my goodness, yes. That poor, my poor daughter-in-law, Danielle. Okay. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Take care. Yes. And Shabbat Tob. Have a good week. Yes. Shabbat Tob. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.